everyone, B.O.B. here, and welcome to another Redstone tutorial. And today's tutorial is going to be all about this right here, the chorus plant. I recently had a request to do a farm on both the flower and the fruit, and it hit, ah, uh, well, I was actually eager to oblige, because it's something I've been thinking about myself for a little while. Um, now, there's a couple different ways you can farm this stuff. I mean, the most common is to harvest it through water and things like that, but the trouble with that is harvesting from the bottom you don't get the flowers back if you don't get the flowers back you can't replant the plant and grow more so the flowers themselves which grow at the top of the plant that's this block right here uh those have to be harvested manually and you, you can do that with an axe or even just punch them uh, actually a bow and arrow will work too but even just growing the plant to something this size which they typically grow to about 20 blocks tall it takes time it takes time and nobody wants to wait around on that so I've come up with a little concept here that's going to speed everything up quite a bit. And as you can see, it's it's compact. Now, I know what you're thinking. B, how are you growing coarse in that? Well, I'm going to show you. Now, what this machine does is it utilizes zero-tick pulse technology in order to accelerate growth of your coarse plant. We're also manipulating the pattern of growth by... Well, simple placement of glass panes here, and they don't necessarily have to be glass panes. That's what I used. But, uh, as you can see, if I go ahead and turn this little farm on, and, and you, you know, it's not as fast as most zero-tick uh, generators would be, because I'm using a typical hopper clock here. And the reason for that is, is any clock faster than this seems to just break the plant. But if we come right here to the center, and you want to stand off kind of diagonally to this center block here and just place it as you see it grows almost instantly and you can harvest your flowers and go ahead and break the plant to get your fruit plant a new one and instant growth as soon as you plant it instant growth now this actually has two modes and well when you see the flower turn purple like that it's not going to grow any further but this farm actually has two modes Right now, it's set in flower mode, and you can tell that because these pistons are extended. And the whole idea of flower mode is, well, obviously producing more flowers. Because those glass panes are there, it's causing the plant to, well, sort of forcing it to split up. And that won't happen every single time, but it will ha happen more often than if you just let the plant grow naturally. But... Say you wanted to switch to growing fruit and you've got yourself a large collection of flowers so you're not worried about using using them all up. You want to go ahead and just hit this switch and it'll retract those pistons. But you want to leave the main part of the plant there on that block and then just place it on the side here. Now, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit finicky and sometimes it'll disappear. But this, as you can see, once you get it placed, it grows instantly, breaks instantly. Uh, sometimes things fall on the other side of the farm, and you'll actually have to go pick them up, and if you wanted, you could, you know, place hoppers underneath to catch all that stuff, but, uh, you know, I'm just using a manual collection system, because it's, well, it's a manual farm, and, it, you know, you're gonna, have, you're gonna have to work at it, but it's fast, it's very fast. Now everything you're going to need is right here in this chest. You're going to need at least 20 pieces of redstone dust, 4 redstone comparators, four redstone repeaters, six sticky pistons, two levers, two pieces of end stone, a building block of your choice. I'm using smooth stone here because it's easy to count. And realistically, you're only going to need about 13 of these, but we will be placing some temporary blocks during the build, so you might want a few extra, or you know, you could use scaffolding or whatever temporary block you prefer. You're going to need at least two hoppers for your clock, Four glass panes, or you could use glass blocks, I suppose, but, uh, you know, glass panes just seem to look a little bit neater. Uh, you're going to need at least one coarse flower to get yourself started, and I recommend an axe for harvesting, as it seems to be the fastest. Now, you're going to want to leave yourself at least a 5 by 11 space, which I have appropriately outlined in purple blocks. Uh, and for the sake of simplicity, we're going to start with our redstone dust. And you want to come to the one corner of your rectangle here. And you want to place a line of four dust. So that's one, two, three, four. Now right next to that fourth piece, you're going to want to place a repeater. And right next to that repeater, you're going to want to place your comparator. Then have that comparator feed into a sticky piston here. And 
place a solid block right in front of that sticky piston. So you should be looking at this right here. So come to the opposing side of this solid block, you know, opposite of the repeater, and you're going to want to place another sticky piston facing in towards the center of your rectangle here. Then place your two pieces of endstone dust right at the end of that sticky piston. Leave a one block space and then place another sticky piston facing in towards that endstone. And what we're going to do on this side is just mirror the same thing we did on the other side. So you're going to want to come over, place your solid block right beside that piston, have another sticky piston facing that solid block, have a repeater facing that solid block on this side, and comparator facing that sticky piston. Then chain them together with your redstone dust, just like on the other side. Now we're going to start on our clock. So in order to do this, we want two hoppers facing into one another. So you're going to want to either place a temporary block, or you know I'm just going to go ahead and use uh, hopper itself. So place a hopper in, and then you're going to oops, <laughs> you're going to want to crouch place another hopper feeding into that then get rid of the first one and crouch place your hopper feeding into the second one so basically your hoppers are feeding into one another just like so then we're going to take a comparator signal out of each of these hoppers so you're going to place one comparator here on this end of the hopper clock another comparator here and since we're only going to be placing one item inside this hopper clock we're going to need to send the signal a little bit further than what these comparators will on their own so we're going to place our last two repeaters coming out of those comparators then we're going to go ahead and just link that up with our redstone dust in the corners here now take two of your solid blocks and you're going to want to crouch place them right on top of these hoppers and then well, we're gonna go ahead and put our lever on the edge of that then we're gonna go ahead and place a single item inside of that hopper there when you turn, yeah, as you can see it turned on instantly so we're, we're gonna go ahead and just throw that switch that's gonna lock that item into this hopper here so that basically turns off the farm and you don't have to deal with all that piston noise and here we are we're, we're pretty much almost done uh, we pretty just gotta put in the top part which is gonna help us manipulate the growth patterns so we want to put in some temporary blocks like I said I'm using the smooth stone here I want to put in two on that side two on this side and you'll you'll see that's right in the center between those two pistons then right on top of those temporary blocks you place one glass pane here one glass pane here and then we can get those temporary blocks out of there now we have to put in our mode switcher <laughs> array which goes across the top so in order to do that we want to uh, I, I stand on top of one of your pistons here and you want to crouch place a block on top of your repeater there and then put a sticky piston on top of that block and then we can get that block out of there we don't need that anymore and then of course we're going to do the same thing on the other side crouch place a block on top of the repeater sticky piston on top of the block get rid of the block and you know if you wanted you could leave those blocks in there they're not really hurting anything I'm just taking them out to show that well we don't really need them now what we do need to do is we need to build our little bridge that goes from piston to piston so we want to come in one block on top of the piston another block beside that come up one lever <laughs> I'm sorry come up one level break away that block there because we don't need that we want to have this higher section come across five blocks so that's one two three four five and then on this side we're gonna place another block on top of that piston another block right beside that one so you have this shape right here then we're gonna run a line of dust right across the top of this thing here so basically those pistons both are powered by the same signal and I like to put my lever for this sort of right in here it 
really doesn't matter where you put that as long as it's somewhere on one of these top blocks but being that our our lever to turn on the farm is here it's nice to have this one in the same location and then all that's left to do now is place one glass pane there at the end of that sticky piston and one glass pane here at the end of this sticky piston and those are you know what help us manipulate the growth so you're as I said at the beginning of the video if the pistons are extended this mode is for harvesting the flower when you the pistons are retracted this mode is for harvesting the fruit and and that's it that's the farm all done and dusted now all we have left to do is well start our farming so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my one chorus flower and I'm gonna grab my axe and we want this to be in flower mode so we want those pistons extended like so we can go ahead and you can plant your flower beforehand before you turn it on or after that part really doesn't matter but as soon as you turn it on instant growth so you want to go ahead and you know, collect yourself a whole bunch of flowers keep replanting in that center block like I said it doesn't always split into multiple flowers and, you know that's not, not great, but I mean, you gotta you gotta get more of those flowers in some way, and this seems to be the fastest way to do it. So just keep replanting until you get multiple flowers like so, and then always remember to harvest the flower first, and then break the plant so that way you're getting more flowers than what you're using. And then once you get yourself a decent collection, like I said before, you break that last flower, leave the last section of plant right there in that middle block retract our pistons and then just continuously place on this side well one side or the other you see it grows instantly the plant breaks and you get your fruit that simple friends and that my friends completes today's redstone tutorial I hope you found this video helpful and it'll help you complete whatever projects you got going on with chorus fruit in your own world uh, if there are any farms or contraptions or anything along those lines you want to see tutorials for on PS4, please let me know about that in the comments below and I'll see if I can help you out with that. Uh, in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. And if you're interested in seeing more from me, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would like to thank each and every one of you for watching and wish you a wonderful day.